And official Ed Sidlaski threw it up. Boston College in those gold uniforms immediately finds Sidbury. Ivy delivered the pass, and Taya Sidbury gets the first two. This is an experienced player, Leilani Rodriguez, and it rolled off. Offensive rebound by Maddie Rice, one of the rookies. She hails from Charlottesville. Georgia State transfer had started five games, but she's not in there. Nice play, cut to the basket, Dontavia Wagner. Inbounds, baseline underneath, worked to perfection. Dontavia Wagner. Ivy finds JoJo Lacey out of the corner, and she picks up right where she left off at Kentucky. JoJo Lacey's face, that one rattled in. Inside, slashing was the point guard, Sydney Watkins couldn't finish, but Chase. Wagner spinning over her right shoulder. Snatched it right back from Maddie Rice, and Wagner scores in a row for Boston College to build a seven-point lead. Lindsay on the baseline, leaves it back for Rice. And Maddie Rice has both of the buckets for the Riverhawks. Gotta credit BC's defense, though. That's about the fifth possession where UMass has to shoot with the buzzer down under 10. Sidbury. Second basket for Taya Sidbury as she had the position on Maddie Rice. And for Lowell, they have to get that help side defender to come across on that zone defense. Sidbury got her hands on the pass, but look what I found, says Rain Durantz. I love the free play when you're just allowing both teams to play. Oh. Same spot for Lacey. Same result for JoJo Lacey. 15 point game at Kentucky breaking out from a slump. She's found. Absolutely. Having a good game came off that performance. 14 points against Kentucky. Leilani Rodriguez. We talked to Joanna Burnaby McNamee pregame. She said that she really thinks that Lily Krashevets could have a big game here today using the size that Lowell, frankly, can't match. Become more of a marked person for the defense. Krashevets, oh, double clutch. And the bank for Lily Krashevets. Her coach said that she'd make a big impact today, and we're seeing it immediately from the native of Hungary, Lily Krashevets. I love that. Lindsay, nice pocket pass for Rice, and Maddie Rice is four for four. See that big brace that she wears on her right knee. Talked about all the injury issues she's had to withstand. She'll let it fly and crash Chavez. Didn't let her get it off. Back up. She's one of the interior players. Another jumper goes down. Four ACL tears. It's just incredible. She loves the game so much. She doesn't know what she'll do without it, so she continues to play. Daly back in there for BC and Andrea Daly on the board. The story for Lowell has been freshman Maddie Rice. Meanwhile, you got the reserve guard Gabby Ross, one of the five freshmen in the rotation and a turnover. Daly and Kayla Ivey free to fire. Three pointer for Kayla Ivey. On the heights, Kayla Ivey. The floor general delivering some points. On the drive is Watkins blocked out of bounds. Dontavia Wagner met her right at the rim. Another day at the office for Dontavia Wagner just walks away and gets to her teammates like it's nothing. Boston College, they were 9 of 18 and got hot at the end. They scored the final seven. Sidbury got denied inside. Rain Durant, 10 of the 14 points in the opening quarter for Rice. This is Rodriguez having it blocked. Taya Sidbury not only blocked it, she grabbed it. Lowell has not played the starting center that they've had for five games this year. Alex Kitchenko yet today. Nice play. And wide open for the layup is Sari Worley. That's Lola's finding early in the season. Worley one of them. Jumper for two from inside the paint. Tiana Todd. After losing five starters, four of those five starters transferred elsewhere. So it's a retool and then some. Rodriguez, one of the few familiar names back. For Team Israel. Steal beautifully done. That was JoJo Lacey anticipating and a solo act for the two. Two and 
just another good steal for JoJo Lacey and just outpaces everybody on the floor to get the easy lay-in on the fast break. Leilani Rodriguez inside for Gitchenko, knocked away the denial by Todd, who was fronting. Lacey from the wing. Krashevets, nice move up and under. Lily Krashevets. Got a BC story against all the local rivals here. Fresh of vets. Couldn't finish. Wagner can. Chasing the miss. Rodriguez at her pocket. Picked by Tiana Todd at midcourt. Wagner again in traffic. No problem. Wagner in amongst three defenders. And now it's Daly. Fake the pass and took the layup instead. Just forcing these shots. You want to see either Durant or even Rice go and drive to the lane. Lindsay took that pass away from Lacey and that gets Abby Lindsay a run out. Four in a row for her. Said it started at the free throw line, giving the extra shot. There's Wagner slipping under the basket for another hoop. Clear out your own player in front of you. It makes it easier. Here's Durant. Don't call her Kevin, but Rain Durant off the glass and one. Not in the lineup this season for Boston College, but is a freshman, both of them playing at Hamden Hall. Nice pass to Kreshevitz. She's got her third bucket. Miami, Ohio transfer. Five seconds after she split the trip. Todd going the distance. Todd all the way. It counts at the buzzer. Deanna Todd just took it 92 feet. Dash by sophomore Deanna Todd. All the way she went at the horn. Coming up, we'll check in Lowell against Dartmouth. Yeah, eight of their first nine games this season will be on the road for the Riverhawks. BC in possession, third quarter underway. Andrea Daly right to work. And the lead is up to 21 points. And they steal the inbounds. Deanna Todd scores. Sidbury overplaying the pass, almost out of steal, but it led to Lindsay on the baseline getting blocked. Staying with it, Maddie Rice, and her first basket since the first quarter gives her 12. A minute into the third quarter, Kayla Ivy back out there, had four early assists. And there's her fifth. Nice pass, Andrea Daly scores again. Patient or over and back, and here's that last play from Ivy. You get it behind, it's kind of like a quarterback trying to beat it over the corner. Six to two to start the second half. And now Todd for three. Nine to two to start the third quarter for Boston College. College right here. Well, first this offensive play. Good movement to, to move this zone out of position. Ivy's gonna draw both guards to the left side. That opens up the shot for Todd. But on they've added seven onto the halftime advantage here in two minutes. Nice move inside by Rain Durant's freshman scores. Saved it in bounds as you watched Durant get back. Same spot, Todd. Same result, Todd. Just beautifully done. Press beaten, but Wagner rejecting Rain Durant right at the rim. Wagner the block. The assist from Todd. The layup by Daly. When Boston College opened the third quarter, 20 to zero on a run. 14 to four here today thus far in the opening minutes of the third. And it's again, defense leading to offense, the block. For it was 19 at halftime. Watkins cross court pass, three point shot. Sari Worley, freshman coming off the bench as her second bucket. Time flies, my friend. It does, <laughs> and it marches on. Out of the corner, Todd left side, third of the third quarter. Long range, Tiana Todd. Checked in for the first time in the half for BC. It's been the Tiana Todd show here after halftime. Yeah, again, just finding some space and then played some really good AAU basketball. Slashing through the paint and a bucket inside Sydney Watkins. You want to have some of those games back, but if not, you're going to be able to use what you learn in those games. Addie Rice couldn't hit it, followed her miss, and got rejected by Andrea Daly. Ivy leads the break. The trailer is Daly. Nice Euro step and a finish at the rim. Coach V, it, it, it always hits you. You always know that somebody's impacted somewhere, so. 
There's Wagner. Octavia's first basket here of the third quarter. Six-year player, second year here at Lowell, and she averages 11 points a game. That's an absence from the offense they've had a hard time overcoming. That's a second three-point make today for Kayla Ivey. Long range for a team that came in shooting only 22% from beyond the arc. Kayla Ivey puts them up 30 as we go to the... With more than a dozen different D1 teams participating in this initiative, it's such a good one. Taya Sidbury lets fly and hits a three to begin the fourth quarter. One thing that I mentioned right as we were going to break, Lewis, the three-point shooting for Boston College, which has had to be just correct statistically, it's been one of the worst. It's one tough team to beat. Step into the basket is Rice. How about that on cue? Maddie Rice with the step through and one. Today, and I don't think you can find a close second, Lewis, to the freshman Maddie Rice. She has not been afraid to attack. She's not got to share that moment with him, her teammates. So that's one that she'll always live with. Andrea Daly, BC's run some really good underneath inbounds plays today to get them layups. These are the plays that you get by what you do in practice and in shoot arounds even leading up to the game. Those designed underneath inbounds plays. Inbound. Rice on the kick out to the baseline for Watkins. Smooth two point jumper, Sydney Watkins. Daly against the zone. Nice dish, that's how you beat a zone. A little high low by the bigs, and Taya Sidbury gets another easy layup. Almost it over and back there. Didn't matter because Rodriguez had it taken away by Ivy, and Wagner puts it in, her 16th point. Off the turnover that time. And these, she just rips it right back. Another steal. Lazama scores. This is Joanna Burnaby McNamee's brand of basketball in a nutshell. Just a great job, unselfish play. Here in Chestnut Hill, 82-46 as we head to the break. Leaves Lindsay one for 10. Ivy, what a dish. Wagner couldn't hit it, got blocked. From a seated position, Wagner tried to throw a pass that got taken away. Lazama thought about it. We approach two minutes to go. McGee found Krashevets and one. Lily Krashevets. Take that ball away from the Eagles. Ivy for Krashevets. Double figures for Lily Krashevets. 11th point. Shouted out Lily about how she was doing in that first half. Ivy ends the game by knocking away a pass. That's a fitting way for this one to come to its end. Boston College disruptive from the outset and dominance.